Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day six of the January League Code Dairy Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord, let me know what you think about today's poem, Card Point. Um, and as you can see from my background, I'm back in New York. Uh, that's all I have. I mean, it, Panama was fun, uh, but I'm also happy to be back, though it is much, much colder in here. Uh, so, versus uh, Panama, which I guess makes sense. So I don't know how I feel about that yet, but I just got back. I literally just got off the plane and got back into my apartment. I'm doing this Deco Palm with you. Anyway, today's farm is 1094 card pulling. Okay, so there's a uh, card with capacity seats. Okay, that's the input. And it goes in one direction, meaning that there's no going back and forth, meaning there's no decision. The decision, is, the only thing that you can do is to pick them up and drop them off. So this is a simulation problem, right? Uh, there are a couple of ways to do it. The way that I like to do it is with defense. Um, and basically, you you split up the number, the trip into two distinct events, right? One is, is people getting on event and people getting off event. And that should you know, uh, let you figure it out. I think that's the idea. Um, cool. So then here... Uh, yeah, so then now we have events, and then now for, what, what's the, okay, passengers, uh, pass, passengers, start and end in trips. So it's for each of this, uh, we have two events. We want to add an event that's uh, a pen. Hmm. We want to add two events. Right? One is to pick up a passenger, uh, pick up a passenger event. So that's going to be, um, and we always, in Python, the way that I do it is with a tuple. You could use a name tuple if that makes it a little bit easier. Um, maybe the next time I'll set it up so that you use a name tuple. But for now, I use a tuple so that it sorts by uh, tuple, um, you know, like the first by the first element, then the second element, and so forth. So in this case, I just want to make, okay, at the start, we want to pick off P passengers, and then we also want to drop off uh, at the end negative p passengers right so then now given this setup the way that we're framing it or reframing it is um given this will we have enough space for all passengers or the entire way right so then of course we sort by events and <clears throat> one thing that is a little bit tricky and confusing a little bit uh sometimes about these problems is how to deal with tiebreakers um and how how to deal with you know, two things to happen at the same time, but how do you resolve the order, right? And in our case, we're going to do it in a greedy way, which is that we're going to let people get off and then pick people up. So in that case, um, we want the people to get picked up first, or sorry, drop off first. So that means that we want the end events to happen before the start events. In some cases, you can, um, I mean, yeah, so in this case, we could have, say, zero here and one here, so that if all the time here, if you have two events where they have the same time, um, then this one happens first, right? That's basically our, our idea. Um, of course, in this problem, it's actually technically not necessary because we, negative P will always be, you know, just negative, right? So that is a little bit of a thing, but we'll keep this in here for now. Um, just to kind of keep track. And of course, you can even turn them into enums if you like. Though that sorting enums is a little bit awkward. So, eh. but yeah, but you can call this off and on maybe. Oops. Right, and I, I know this isn't really Python enums, but I'm just going to do it for now. Um, and then now after we sort these, we can just, it becomes a simulation problem, right? So current, current is equal to zero. And then now for um, the time, the event and the uh, the delta, I guess, maybe you want to call it, and events. Um, and in this case, delta already counts that in, but otherwise we might have something like if y is equal to on, you do on stuff. Uh, if y is equal to off, you do off stuff, right? But in this case, we can actually simplify a little bit. By doing current, we add delta. Um, and that's pretty much it. We don't even use the time technically, and we don't even use the event because that's factored into the delta. The only thing we have to do is if current is greater than capacity, that means that whatever happened, because we did it in a way greedy way, we always let Bill get off first, then this is false because that means that we don't have enough capacity. 
Otherwise, this is good and true, and we should be good. So let's give it a, a one, and then let's give it a submit afterwards. I'm really tired, actually. Uh, the fight has been tired, so let's give it a submit. Hopefully that's good, and yep, 646. Hey, isn't that a new area code in New York or something? Hmm, maybe that's 636. No, it's New York area code, so so I guess that's a very timely uh, number for welcoming me back uh, to New York, 646, baby. Uh, okay, um, but yeah, of course the complexity, this is going to be n log n time because there is a sorting in there, but after that, this is linear after. Uh, not including the sorting and space is going to be linear because for every input we're going to have two events um and that's pretty much all i have for this one um i like yeah that's all i have really uh let me know what you think happy to be back hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord uh, um yeah stay good stay healthy to good mental health i'll see y'all later bye bye